I'm gonna need to talk a little bit quieter in today's video because my husband is currently working from home and he has to be in the meeting for the next couple of hours. This is the first video like this where I'm actually going to take my phone, walk around and vlog what I'm up to today. As I mentioned in other videos, I know that um, this is quite a small channel. I just started it, but I thought it'd be really exciting to see the kind of things that I get up to throughout the day. In today's vlog, I wanted to share an update on my filming room. So we just currently changed um, this room over here from my office uh, to the recording or film slash filming room. My husband really enjoys working on music. He was a DJ all throughout university when he lived in the States and he also produces and has um, a partner, um, our friend Jay, they actually do a lot of music together. So let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what the room is looking like and I also have a really quick surprise. Okay, so I am just going to turn the light on here quickly and show you. So this room is quite small, as you can see. Don't mind the top of this dresser um, with the virus going on. We're spraying alcohol all over the place and I believe this does come off. Anyway, regardless, this is what the space is starting to look like. We just purchased these lights off of Amazon. It came with three of them. I believe one's supposed to go on either side and there's a light above. This halo light is perfect. It's just either an additional light or I use it to put another um, phone on there to film or record from a different angle. I've done some photos in here already, but I have yet to do any vlogging or any tutorials. So I'm excited to get the ball rolling. My other little piece of exciting news that I wanted to share is my new camera. Now, this is one that I borrowed from my dad. He is not necessarily a photographer by occupation, but it is one of his passions and he has about three or four cameras. So he has lent me this Fujifilm XA5. This particular one is a selfie um, or a vlogging camera. So on the back of the screen that pops up and it has a couple of really cool features on here, aperture, um, all of that. I'm just learning how to use it, but I'm excited to be filming on a proper camera for the next uh, couple videos. Behind me here, actually it would be a good opportunity. I've been practicing some of my hairstyles and I really need to start um, a photo album for my hairstyles and my looks. So I actually have two surprises to share today, but before I show you the next one, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show my hair creation of the day. I just have it here on my mannequin Stella, and this is the stand that I mentioned in my other uh, video when I was vlogging about receiving the head. This is just an old guitar stand. It works perfectly as long as you have the right um, size so that the head will sit on the stand. This is my hair creation of the day. So I just left some pieces out on, in the front um, with a little bit of a wave. I do wanna take some hair cutting scissors and cut this a little bit so that there's a little bit more layer um, around the face, more layers, and I'll probably do that later on. I'm not sure when. This is the hairstyle that I created. I wanted to do a half up, half down. I really liked the trend of the um, bubble braids, and this isn't a braid, I just used some small elastics, but I ended up just doing this technique, which I'll show in another tutorial, where you twist the hair in and then you tug on the little loops and it just bubbles out like this. It looks really cool. I find that it adds a little bit of an edge to the look. I just went in and got some flowers from outside. I love adding some color to my looks. It just makes the photos pop, and I find that it draws the attention a little bit more to the style. I did some braids on the side as well. I always like to add a little bit of detail, and as you can see, these pieces here are quite polished. I didn't want to add any texture to the hair there, and I just really liked how all of this came together. 
So my next surprise that I wanted to share is the purchase of a new iPad. The only reason why Josh and I, my husband, decided to purchase an iPad is because photo albums are not very modern anymore and carrying around an album for both bridal um, weddings and other occasions would be a little bit tricky and my husband actually came up with the idea. For my business, I wanted to do the colors silver and purple. He ended up purchasing this really beautiful case for the iPad and of course, I got it in rose gold to match my laptop. I'm not generally like that but I do really love rose gold everything. Between the camera and the iPad, as well as the setup in the room, I think that I'm going to have a little bit of an easier time um, getting some good quality videos up. My next video, I do really want to focus on Canva, and that is a my next video, I ideally would really like to focus on Canva, and that is where I make all of my channel art. I find videos to be really boring sometimes. You can add some music to it, but unless there's visuals, it's really hard to keep an audience or anybody's attention focused on the video, and I think that's what I'm gonna do next. That's it for today's really short vlog. As usual, stay safe, be happy. Can't wait for the next one. Bye.